have to have three horses so that you always have two that aren't lame. Poor Stormy Boy. I better bring the pitchfork and clean some poo. So Sam and I got our tires and we did raised trap poles for the ponies. The sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. I'll take you to a place, we can see it all. Step off the edge, I can break your fall. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. I want you to pick up a little bit of contact and I don't want you to wiggle your reins or move them. I just want you to hold your hands quiet and steady on either side of his shoulder and just quietly hold his mouth. Leave me alone, people. Yeah, you think I'm popular, holy. Outside support. Really checking in on those corners that your outside rein and outside leg become a wall. He's leaving presents. He's outside leg, outside rein. Wall it up. Yes. I don't know why the ponies are out here. This one would just like eat some grass. Because they've all been on a diet because of Willow. Chino's that kind of horse that gets like so hot from doing nothing. Like he breaks me. This is, I don't know what's happening. I think she's pulling on him. Keep your hands quiet and ask. Good boy, give him a pat. So is that what it is? He doesn't want the left lead. He had to ask him for him. Uh, so it's because he's still sore? Mm -hmm. So now he's getting a memory of riding sore? Just in this direction though. I know, I feel bad though. So when you feel him struggling to get his lead or struggling like that, put your hands forward and let him figure it out. Don't try and balance or carry him, let him figure it out. That's better. You can always fix him at the bottom. 
This direction is a little bit harder for him because this is the side he was more sore on. So he struggles a little bit more to carry and bend in this direction. So just by giving him away instead of fighting with him, we'll give him a better muscle memory. Outside aid. He's also a really good indicator of whether or not she's playing with her hands. I know. Which I, is awesome. I, I keep telling her that. And she, I think, I think she needs You're to You're knocking like, the poles down? I think she should have a couple lessons with no reins. Or at least one. And get a really good feel. Oh, back in the lunge line, you mean? Yeah. Outside aid. Help him steer with your outside leg and rein. Look. Outside, outside, outside. Beautiful turn. Three, two, one. Good boy! Come on, time! Looking! Beautiful! One, two, three, half! Good pick! Excellent! Let him trot into it for a minute, Gabby! strong enough to do the walk to canter because that's why he's fighting you right that canter okay. transition he's going into the canter nicely from the trot but he's struggling to crunch his body together to jump into it from the walk that makes sense so do more trot to canter transitions until he gets a little more fit how long is it going to take him to get fit like she's been riding him for a while he's getting there but he was sore like he's still been sore through that, right? i know like, yeah he's still not 100 percent. he's much better today but he's still not a hundred percent. Now the adjustment I think helped made a world of difference, to be honest with you. Because it was traveling up his leg from the uh from his shoulders, he was compensating. Yeah. So he was probably really tight in his shoulders and holding himself up, which means now that that's relaxed and out of the way, he's able to move a little better. Yeah. And when they're in pain and they're sore and they've been ridden through that, then they associate. Yeah, exactly. So they have to try and come, you have to reteach that. Yeah. We're going to canter over the poles, more outside than inside. It's just sad that he's like so wanting to do it, wanting to do it, and now he's like, eh. Yeah. Well, because he's expecting it to hurt. I know. Breathe. Try again. Balance and rhythm, out to my dates. He wants to do it. Still, it's, there's still want there. Exhale, half halt. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Good job. I feel like she has a lot to learn to ride him still, too. Like, they're still at the very oh, beginning. Yeah. Um, and walk. And try a canter transition from the walk now. Good boy, give him a big pat. So what I want you to do is you're going to do a trot transition to a canter, back to a trot, back to a canter. Third time you're going to walk and canter. So that you really get him free and stretching. And then you, once he's warmed up and he knows it doesn't hurt, throw in the walk to canter so he can get stronger. All right, let him breathe and let him walk. We're going to do a switcheroo now. I stepped on Finn's foot, then he stepped on mine. <laughs> right, here we go. Nice okay. and quiet. Same thing as your That's sister, half haul release. Half haul release. <laughs> Not that small. <laughs> oh, she talks like me. <laughs> Ideally, we want him to go around with no contact. Oh, he likes contact, Fiona. I know he doesn't. Her, she was telling Sophie off for her earlier. Sophie was saying the same Soften thing. Soften your legs so you're not gripping so much. There you go. <laughs> Don't do what you did in the show and got second place. That's unacceptable. Don't need them longer. Not at all. They're good. They're 
or your length. So I think maybe she did grow though. She has. Just feels different because he's built differently than like this way. It's like riding a different horse. Yeah, that's probably it. Change direction. Yeah, so like. Can you imagine Sam? Like Sam's kind of like. Breathe, half halt, release. Breathe, half halt, release. Breathe, half halt, release. Keep repeating. Like my Sam is not super social. No. And neither is his dad. That's not so bad then. No, I know it's good. Except for Sam, who doesn't like to be busy, and his dad does like to be busy. <laughs> and there's a lot to do around here. Oh, I know. Good little boy. Trot over the poles. Give him something to think about. Make his brain work. I'm tired. Good boy. Don't squeeze him at the base, just let him be. And keep it. What a handsome fella. Remember, half haul release, don't hold him. We know that. Good job. Canner over the roll top. Yeah, you're going to exhale three times coming in, and then as you jump, big exhale. That's all right. And now find your trot. I'd rather him add a stride than bolt over the jump, right? So that's okay. He's just learning his distances. Really nice. Gonna change rain. We gave it all, we gave it all. We say we love, we say we love. But we were just interesting until something better came along. Why do you usually breathe electronically? Don't you know it. Automatically is what you're oh. gonna get. Oh. Automatic versus manual vehicle. Oh, okay. You're gonna go over the red jump and leave it a canner, but don't ask him for the canner. Just look up at the roll top so it helps him get his lead. Breathe. Half haul release. Look. Boy. Outside aid, half halt release. Good job. Half halt release. If he stays quiet, jump the same jump. Breathe release. Breathe release. Breathe release. Three, two, one. Good boy. Find your trot. Good boy. Good job. Trot through the double, but he must trot both of them. Big breath out. Good job. Can you see?
Jumping. One, two, one, jump. Don't you know that you're beautiful?